Pyongyang, North Korea has said its launch of a missile over Japan was a prelude to more military operations directed at the American territory of Guam, which it called an advanced base of invasion. A media report said that the country's state-run Korean Central News Agency reported that leader Kim Jong-un presided over the Tuesday launch of the ultra-modern rocket system, the first missile ever fired from Pyongyang. The news agency quoted Kim as saying that like a real war, the latest drill was the first step of the military operation of the KPA, Korean People's Army, in the Pacific and a meaningful prelude to containing Guam. The intermediate-range missile identified by the North Koreans as the Song-12, crossed Japan's northern Hokkaido Island, further fueling tensions between North Korea and the U.S. and its allies, Japan and South Korea, CNN reported. The Guam governor's office said in a statement there is no change in the island's threat level. We knew, based on North Korea events in previous years, that with the joint exercise between the U.S., South Korea, and its allies, we can expect rhetoric and activity in North Korea, said George Charforos, Guam Homeland Security Advisor. The KCNA said the launch was in direct response to the joint U.S. South Korean military drills, as well as to mark the anniversary of the Japan Korea Treaty of 1910, which saw Japan annex the Korean Peninsula. Kim has also ordered more rocket drills targeting the region. The state media said. South Korean presidential spokesman Park Soo-yoon said in a statement that the country's President Moon Jae-in and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe both now believe pressure on North Korea should be raised to its limit so that North Korea will voluntarily come to the table for dialogue. The UN Security Council called the missile launch outrageous demanding North Korea cease all missile testing. While the statement said the regime's actions were a threat to all UN member states, it did not threaten new sanctions against Pyongyang. Russia and China said U.S. military activity in the region was partly to blame for the increase in tensions, and urged negotiations, a BBC report said. Arriving for a visit to Japan, British Prime Minister Theresa May called on China to put more pressure on North Korea saying that Beijing had a key role in the international response to Pyongyang's reckless provocation. The launch also drew a strong rebuke from U.S. President Donald Trump who again warned that all options are on the table to act against North Korea. It was the fourth missile North Korea fired in four days, Pyongyang tested three short-range ballistic missiles, one of which failed from Kangwon province that landed in water off the Korean peninsula. Earlier in August, Pyongyang first threatened to fire missiles towards Guam where some 160,000 U.S. citizens live. Published date, August 30, 2017 2.35 p.m., updated date, August 30, 2017 2.35 p.m.